Oh, so good. What's going on, everybody? Mop here for another episode of How It's Made. We had some sort of bot that seemed to not allow us to do any of How It's Made reactions. And this is to my buddy Jasper. Look at my background. I don't care what it's like, dude. I'm just kidding. He doesn't like my background, so I thought uh, I'd leave it the same. Even a significant other hate my background. They think I should go more, like, more modern. No, it's either white blinds or nothing. Got it? All right, how it's made, episode four, let's- Today on how it's made. Oh, look at this. Hearing aids. We're turning up the volume for this one. Oh! <laughs> 3D puzzles. <laughs> Rubber mats. We bring you a step-by-step -step explanation. And toilets. This oh my gosh! Peak. They already peaked too early. Season season one, episode four. Toilets? It's over. You can't even when go up from there. Listen to all the sound you can only go it. down. You suddenly realize how easy it is to take your hearing for granted. Two thousand one. Look at those dials. This is a serious handicap. But happily, it can be remedied thanks to hearing aids. But I remember those. The aid, the Look at that guy in the background. <laughs> precisely measured with this apparatus called an audiometer. Is so this the owner of the facility? To protect the eardrum, an auto block. Oh, is it makes me. That hurts my ears already. The next step is to pour in a silicone impression-making material. It's oh my device, gosh, that would I I would not like that at all. Oh, so uh, it doesn't matter. You got the little foam in there. This congealed mass representing the ear canal is then soaked in warm wax to obtain a positive imprint. Well, that bucket looks pretty sanitary. Oh, yeah, more plastic in there, please. Look at that. There's something floating around in it. Then Did you see it? Container is I'm not going back. The silicone hardens in only 10 minutes. The hardened silicone block is removed, and the excess of the imprint is trimmed away so that only the essential part is retained. The imprint must slip easily. That actually into looks really ear. cool. It's now the molding stage for the hearing aid. Acrylic is poured into the mold oh. before placing it into this ultraviolet oven. Without emitting any heat, this Holly Lux. the acrylic. Only the finest Here's in the ovens struggled on that one. Electronic components. This plan details the electric circuit of the amplifier. Thanks. I, I, I took all that in in like three seconds that it gave me. Probably less than that. These components are tiny. Here is the volume control. Dang. The miniature microphone that captures sounds. I wonder what kind of magnification they have the zoomed in at. Which functions as a speaker. Wow, this the wiring must be nuts. Look at this guy. To the I mean, and other parts woman. Of the with pewter. The hybrid circuit is inserted into a silicone casing, which assures its protection. Okay. This lady's got some, some steady hands. Dude, I'd be shaking like crazy. Dang, she got skills. Of the volume control. A hearing what? Aid must be very Look at her fingernails. That's why they cut the excess with a diamond disc. They also remove the roughness with fine Look at her fingernails. The holes we see here like some are to vent air from the What is going This silicone uh, tube That's really zoomed in. Acrylic is poured onto the tube to form a tunnel. Look how also zoomed in that is. is that's so small. Afterwards, the tube is removed. This She's even using headphones <laughs> during while uh, making hearing aids. Wait, 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 wait. Go back to her hear. Go back to her hearing aids. Wait, wait, wait. Look at that. Are those like the old? Are those? I don't remember headphones like that. Look at that. I mean, if it would stop showing me this. All right, cool. Then the battery is installed. Only and they're doing everything. Such as the microphone remain to be Oh, look at that mini lever they created. Everything is delicately assembled into the interior of the prosthesis. Wait, wait, wait. Is that going in your ear? Holy cow. The two parts of the hearing aid are then glued together. Ultraviolet hardens oh. the glue. 
That looks like they're shooting a whole bunch of like purple goo on it, but it's nothing but a light. The prosthesis components is cut away with a drill. Then the hearing aid is manually polished to make it perfectly smooth and comfortable. They have to bring it to the polished person. They have all each person has its own little job. That's incredible. The prosthesis is now completed. There remains one important step, verifying its electroacoustic characteristic. How do they do it's that? With this analyzer that they validate that the hearing aid conforms to the original prescription. Look at that modern software. Yep, still used today. No, no, no point updating. It's super These secure. New prostheses allow us to solve the main hearing problems. Micro fabrication of a single unit requires a little more than two days of work. Two days to get one of those? Really? That seem, doesn't seem very uh, economical. Looks like you lose a lot of money doing that, unless those hearing aids are like four thousand a piece. Maybe even more than that. You're still not Remember making profit. Spending lazy afternoons putting together simple 60-piece jigsaw puzzles. Simple? Well, no, I don't. I never mind. did. I was because playing Legend of Dragoon on the PS1. Can have I kind of want that. I wonder if that's still available. Is that a leg? Flat puzzles are well. Is that the lamp from a Christmas story? Puzzles present a different challenge. <laughs> that would be great. Dimensional puzzles are first conceived with oh, computer software. It's close. <laughs> Good blades are needed to cut puzzle pieces. Here are the blades for the master die, which will cut out printed sheets what? of different models. This rubber will be used to eject the die. The master cutting die is unique to each puzzle. It is the specific pattern used to make the puzzle. There's a whole facility for just 3D puzzles? No way. I wonder how big this they factory is. Meticulously to obtain a perfect register. It's imperative that the die not move during the cutting. Otherwise, the pieces would be cut at the wrong points. So they very firmly secure it in place. Yeah, that guy's killing that gum, though. Only on one side. Really small chews. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Dude, he's got a blood blister. He nailed his finger. Did you see that? I don't know why I'm picking this guy apart. It's somewhat like printing. He's working hard. Alignment is again verified. A highly important step which assures the quality of the final product. What? Finally, they installed this large metallic plate, which is the cutting base. It will be on this surface that the master die will strike. Once I want to see what it does on the inside. Can the I get in there? The oh, that could be place. really dangerous. Show, show us a little bit of the intricacies. This press cuts the pattern seen on the puzzle. Here's how it works. What? The sheets or Just a picture. Boards go into the drawer one by one where they are cut according to the master model. What? Wait, wait, wait. Is that a town? Made out of 3D puzzle? No. We that would be insane. The making the cut in the puzzle sheet. I want to be a kid again. Can we go back 22 years? Make it happen. Sheets pile up on one another. At this She's very interested in that. The precision of the cut. They make sure that every piece is correctly shaped. Wait, 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 wait. It's a paper 3D? Now they go to the foam support of the puzzle. Okay, okay, this okay. This guillotine is used to cut the polyethylene sheets onto polyethylene. the cut images. Foam sheets are inserted into this laminator heated to 450 degrees. That melted the foam. The design on it. It's what? Glued onto the foam with a thermo setting adhesive. She took he just took it out with her hands. With now her hands. The is that a, sheet onto the foam sheet. That's a non Apple Watch watch. That's a real watch. Once the adhesive Dude, look at the forearms on that guy. The puzzles are stacked on one another and they proceed to the unbuckling operation. By pulling, they remove the surplus cuttings. The same design is printed several times. Do you think on this place is still in business? So they must separate each puzzle. This step is called the reduction of the models. No way. 
Now the pieces have to be separated. Oh, uh, how are they doing that? This task and sends the pieces down a chute. That's cool. I like to be the lady up top. It's like an all-day Plinko game from Price is Right. Packing cartons arrive already made up, and the puzzle pieces are placed in their boxes. Wow. Look at... 15,000 puzzles are produced here each day. Okay, Since worth it. Began operations, the company has Dude, I want that first one. Different puzzle models. Is that the... Is that simple ones, the Russian much more complex building? Designs. Oh, Lean Tower Pisa. The largest of them contain a total... Train? Look at that train. Oh, look at the aircraft carrier. Oh, look at that church. Wow, that's crazy good looking. No more commercials. I upgraded. I splurged five bucks. Used tires we throw out every year. Well, you'll be relieved to know that burning tires is a thing of the past. I know. I don't like to brag, but often give a new life. You know, when you can spend five extra dollars for no commercials. Big enough to cover whole arenas. Got to strut a little bit. Now that's recycling. Used tires are a real source of pollution. Yeah. This pile represents about 100,000 of them. At any rate, the 100,000? Second life. They'll wow. be recycled to make rubber mats. Each day in this factory, they recycle 15,000 tires into mats. Tires have to be reduced to little granules. But first, granules. this layer feeds the tires into the washer. Who's the guy who does the voiceovers? Are with a water-based biodegradable preparation. Then they're sent That's a to the mouthful. Shredder. Preple, viable, credible. I can't even say it. Teeth. These grind up the tires into pieces. Dang, that thing's struggling a little bit. Doesn't seem like it's powerful enough, though. To cut up almost 1, tires an hour. The last one was like good thicker, it seemed. Tires, which are then shredded a second time. Oh, because it's got the wear bars in it, too. Yeah. Metal is magnetically separated from the rubber. Yeah, the wear bars. Metal pieces are recycled at another factory. I think they would waste quite a bit out of that, though. Other components of the tires, such as fiberglass and nylon, also have to be separated. They wow, I didn't know there were so many different um, ingredients. Maybe I'm just oblivious. Never did research on it. That's probably what happened. The farm materials measure about one tenth of an inch. Some 16 tons of tire particles are piled. You know what? That looked like a rubber basement of Scrooge McDuck. But where he jumps into the coins. Too large to be used. They're sent to a secondary shredder supply tank, where they'll be reduced even further. That seems fun. This tractor feeds the secondary shredder. Grinding action produces a kind of rubber. That guy doesn't have a job anymore due to automation. There's no way. They had to have find another way in the 20 years. The powder is spread out on these enormous molds. Ooh, look at that. This that looks clean. A of 23 feet and a width of 4 feet. Thickness a lot. varies according to the product being made. The molds filled with rubber powder are stored in this loading magazine of the press. All Once right. Full, the molds are sent to the rubber mat press. Look at that guy's got multiple things Here's on his tool belt. Press. The powder has to be cooked at a very high temperature for about 30 minutes. Cooking time depends on the product being made. Yep, we've stated that before. What is that? The mat goes through the unmolding unit before being sent off to cool. I'm really intrigued on what they're making here. The rubber mats are still extremely hot. They're cooled with jets of water for a period of several minutes. Look how long that thing is. That was a, what, 20, 20 some odd feet? Can now be sent to the next Still department. remember. Oh, the slide, so clean. The mat before it's cut. The is this the mat that they put in like, um, surplus water. gyms? Has to be. That's what they are. They're gym, like, uh, now cut up into three they're going like heavy lifting mats. The cut mats are then stacked into a pile and stored before. Oh, the tell me you're going to slice through that like bread. I want to see it happen. Oh, they're just mats for like a car. Oh, the company also makes mud guards. These oh, are man. The same way as the preceding mats. And oh, so they're just going instead of being the tire. Now they're behind the tire. 
<laughs> this operation is called notching. We never get inside of the car. Hard rubber rings are also produced at this facility. Man, they the just keep using it. methods and as always from old used tires. Wow, I like how they recycle it though. This facility makes no less than 12,000 rubber mats from old recycled tires. A day or we can do what are we talking here? Oh, we're going to we're going to get the diagram on this one. Here comes a diagram. Here we go. We tend not to put much thought into this humblest of household appliances. Oh, this is my jam right here. But like most of All right, I'm excited for this one. We may take it for granted. Wow, me with the toilet. Next to impossible to I want to see the molding. The I want to see the functionality. A toilet is an everyday object whose fabrication requires several days of work. It involves assembling several molds. Oh, uh, here tools. we go. That Each almost looks like it could be like Roman times. Like it was a sculptor. It was sculpted. Tool. Sculpture. Don't worry, I'll get it. This ladder will be used to create plaster duplicates used as production molds. Oh, it's the main mold. The main toilet mold. The plaster Almost looks like a cup for a football player. Is made from six different tools which have to be assembled. Their lifespan is only two months. The process begins with a mixture of water and plaster according to a precise. What did he put in the middle? Oh, hold it in. The liquid is poured into this filling hole of the tool. Once the plaster hardens, they can proceed with unmolding. Oh, look at that. So at smooth. Good job, Jerry. Mold in the tool with a rubber hammer so as not to damage the plaster. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Not to damage it. Oh, it's a three-piecer. I like how they did that. They paired this one with the puzzles. Pieces yep. are gently assembled. Same shop. The toilet softly. This is actually just shape. a big puzzle. It is in this same mold that they will later call the clay. <laughs> Then they oh, yeah, strap it in. Straps. Little blocks are inserted between the mold and the strap to increase the tension. The mold will soon be filled with liquid, and they thus prevent any distortion. Oh, I Here thought that was the, the toilet itself. They're just going to make that's a this time, mold a of the mold? A composite of All clay right. and silica. This preparation is spread out over 48 hours. Now they install wow, the 40 hours to make a the toilet. Part of the mold. They can now proceed with the filling. Wow, this look at these guys. Pipe connected to the tank containing the slurry permits the filling of <laughs> Could you imagine being on a date? A they need about 40 So what do you do? What do you do, Bob? I make mold of toilets. After an hour, the slurry has attained a thickness of 4 tenths That's of That's really inch. hot. We need the to get married now. To allow the excess slurry to run I knew out. it. I had to they keep that from you. Mold the still fragile piece. This thicker slur you don't is understand used to adhere these two pieces together. My psychiatrist told me I was going to marry a guy that helped clean up the world. I knew it. I thought that was going to be funnier, they but it wasn't. The holes and unmold the ensemble. The toilet is now molded. Look at that. That looks like somebody appearance. made it in like they art class. The little fillet Dude, this guy. Look at that earring slurry. rocking it. Oh, the dyed hair. That's the, the Backstreet Boys, Boys and Eminem era. Six hours, then in a warm air dryer for 12 hours. Finishing must be impeccable. They carefully oh, yeah? sand the surface to make it perfectly smooth. A vacuum draws up the dust. That's pretty cool. Then with a jet of compressed air, Dust and debris are blown away. This one is keeping my attention the most. Holes are hand painted in a special room. Oh, what kind of toilet do you want? Yellow, so that you can't even As see the, the stains. Tank, oh! Painted <laughs> by an automated robot. Oh, here's the back parts. Don't look at the camera while we do this. This truck carries the different parts to the final fabrication stage. Oh, you can hear the beeping in it. They kept those in. The toilets remain in this oven at the very high temperature of 2,150 degrees for 23 oh. hours. Whoa, look at that. Clean. Silica. That's actually a nice blue. Hard and shiny. And it's all done. What kind of toilet is... 
That would just feel weird. The toilets I think. and the different bowls now take on shapes more elegant than in the past. But the fabrication of each one of them. Oh, the didn't even show construction steps. Didn't even show the urinal. Pounds of slurry. This must be a big place. Could you imagine labor. knocking that over? And then go and then going into work the next day. Wow. That had to be one of the most excited I've been for an object being made. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in episode five. All right. Okay. All right. I'll see you. Bye.